So I created 10 courts for blacktop revitalization. Um, and they're all based on Rucker Park. <laughs> well, it's 10 updates for Rucker Park, I guess, uh, the best way to put it. I didn't really create much of anything because, well, over the years I've kind of done it all. Um, so as you can see right here, this is actually NBA 2K12's Daytime Rucker Park. And the biggest change here um, is I updated the light maps right here. So that when players dunk and the ball is shot and everything, um, it actually lines up <laughs> uh, with the shadowing on the court which is um nice like that right there was that an off the glass oop oh that was an off the glass oop oh and it was a thing of beauty and what I love is that if you take a look in the background take a look at the shadow in the background boom right through the net right where the net's supposed to be and everything so this is the NBA 2k12 Rucker day and here we go with the NBA 2k12 Rucker night and there is a reason you'll see in the next uh, clip uh, why I split them up like this. Oh, we got a little camera cut there, that's fine. Um, so yeah, this is the night version of NBA 2K12's Rucker Park. Uh, no real changes here, but I do want to make mention that the biggest change, the biggest thing that I did uh, for this was in 2K14, um, I figured out a way to get rid of the orange filter that you get with the rooftop court, which you know makes it easier to use uh, these courts. So there's that. And as I was mentioning it, you know, this is the uh, 2K13 version of Rucker Park, which you guys may know had this uh, kind of gray texture on it. Um, I don't ever recall seeing Rucker Park actually have this, <laughs> but whatever. Um, you know, it was in 2K13. I wanted to be able to include it. And as you can see, it also has the updated light map. Dwight Howard says nay. And Dwight and Ola Petito, or I'm not going to say his name right at all. Ola Di Po. Well, the depot <laughs> are on the same team because you know that would totally happen but um yeah so this is in as is the night version of this court um oof that was one hell of a fancy pass you got him oh right off his head off the heezy but <laughs> not in the good way um yeah so this is the same kind of deal just took the 2k13 court um threw it into 2k14 and dressed it up a little bit and called it done <laughs> and um, yeah so not too much done here again very proud of myself for being able to figure out all the shader settings and get all of the actual night sh uh, shadows underneath the players that you can see um, that was actually pretty tough to do but I'm pretty proud of myself for figuring out how to do it and um, in finding it I should have uh, figured out how to do it properly so um, this should hopefully help Vlad when he's doing uh, stuff for Red MC. And as a kind of a tester um, for doing this entire mod and everything, I wanted to do, try something different to see how it played in Blacktop and how it looked. And this was the result. This is uh, the 2K13 court. Was that, This is actually the 2K14 court, I guess you could say. It's the same court. Uh, but it's the one that you see in the game files under uh, S604 that's installed with your game and uh, I got rid of the crowd and you will have to go to options and um, or presentation excuse me and then turn the crowd volume off um, to get the you know full effect obviously and that's gonna be the way with a couple other courts as uh, we continue this going on but you know we have pedestrians walking around which definitely adds to the ambience a little bit but um, yeah this is a really neat little thing this was my tester court you guys may have seen the screenshots of this um, so I just had to clean it up a little bit, and it was all set for release. So, let's check out the thing that I had to put a little bit more, uh, work into. So this is where I get a little tricky. Um, and as you can see, we have no court. This is a common problem that you may have. Just go to Options, Video Settings, and uh, turn off Floor Reflection talked about in the mod, that in the mod review. This is something that we have to do sometimes if we're going to use a floor uh, court with a floor on it. This is actually um, the Midnight Ballers court. The floor is, is from Midnight Ballers and the stadium is obviously Rucker Park's uh, stadium from 2K. Um, this is the one that's included in uh, 2K14 because it doesn't have the sideline barriers on it. It only has barriers at the 
ends of the courts, so I thought that would be neat to include it because I didn't include it with just a 2K14 knight. Um, and as you can see, we have all of the uh, the fade to black over here, and yeah, it actually works out quite well. Um, I just had to get rid of the floor part that's under well, that, that the normal court for Rucker Park. So this is the current 2K13 or the 2K. This is the current. If you go to Rucker Park right now, this is what it looks like. Go in, come on. So if I did one, I obviously did them all. So this is the blank uh, Rucker Park. Um, this is, you know, I don't, I, I only included this court when I first did Midnight Ballers. Don't you take that shot, Anthony Davis. <laughs> I only included this court um, when I did Midnight Ballers just because I, when I was doing research on Rucker Park on uh, Google Images, I actually ended up finding this one. Um, so I thought it was neat, something to include, why not? Um, just another Rucker Park variation, but I really, it's just clean. It's just clean. That's all I, that's the best way I can describe it. So, of course, got this included as well. Good job, Nate. Mm, that's why you're not an NBA team. And here we have the classic Rucker Park that I think we're all familiar with. The, uh, college red lane, the dual lines for the NBA and, uh, college three-point lines. Um, the NYC Parks logo in the middle of the court. I mean, this court is just kind of... When I think of Rucker Park, this is the, the court style I think of. And something that, you know, I didn't mention before... Oh, get some! <laughs> that, I didn't get, that I didn't mention before, that I'm really proud of, is that the lighting on the players changes. Um, and I can make it so that it's either daytime shading on the players, or as it is right now, nighttime shading. And as you saw with the other uh, variations of Rucker Park, the real um, Rucker Parks from 2K, um, I can change the, sh the shadows. So this is actually using a stadium floor, which that's why we had the reflection issue. But so we have these uh, kind of nighttime-esque shadows and I was able to actually have the lighting on the players resemble the nighttime lighting that we see from Rucker Park with these lights up here. And then there is the uh, blue Rucker Park EBC uh, court. I removed the uh, EBC logo from the middle for some stupid reason. Um, technically, the EBC logo is in the current court, too. Um, oh, Dirk, do it. Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> yeah, it's just, oops. Whoa, lost everyone there. Because of the trees. Oh, you can't defend that. <laughs> That's the new sky hook. Um, yeah, so this is the old EBC court, um, but I just called it EBC Blue, just for the blue lanes. Um, I, I've actually this is actually like probably next to the classic um, probably my favorite variation of Rucker Park I love the yellow lines I love the uh, leaf in the in the lane and actually I think this is the court style that was on the ground when uh, what's his face um, Kevin Durant I think this is the floor style that was there when he actually absolutely dominated Rucker Park uh, during the lock lockout from two years ago I think it was so, good stuff here. And finally, the one and only, you knew it was coming, the current EBC Rucker Park. Well, not current. Um, this was the EBC court that was used over the summer. It was a wood court. Um, there's no good way to do the reflections, unfortunately. Because um, as you saw, we had to have reflections turned off for, uh, well, the thing to even show up. Um, so technically, during the normal 5 on 5, not in blacktop mode, you could get away with it. But, um... In terms of, you know, for blacktop mode, it's just not going to happen. Um, this court, freaking fantastic. I'm still blown away at how great of a job Razor did making this. Um, this is just a thing of beauty. Get to him. Oh, ah, Robinson, why don't you get a dunk? Come on, you know you can jump. And and I think, I want to say thank you again and again and again to uh, MGX. You might know his uh, cyber faces. He's the one who also did the DC Marvel mod and that great stuff. He's a really talented guy. Um, he actually lives near Rucker Park, so he went down and got reference pictures for Razor uh, to make this. Um, just fantastic. I, I just... Uh, the way this floor came together. Like, even though it is so hideous. <laughs> the design is friggin' hideous. I'm sorry. But um, it's so cool. And it's just neat, and I'm really glad to have it in the game. So remember, this is all for uh, Blacktop Revitalization. You have to download 
uh, Big Hort's uh, street gear, which has been shown off through the entire video. That's what everyone's wearing. Um, and you need to download eat, uh, you download the courts you want. So if you only want this court, but you don't want any of the other Midnight Baller courts up converted to uh, Rucker Park Knight, you don't need to download them. You can pick and choose which ones you want to download. But you do need to have um, the street gear by Big Hort to get it all to show up. That's pretty much it though. All you do is you just go to uh, load save, load up the roster you want to play blacktop mode on um, for the respective court that you want to play it on, and you play blacktop mode. <laughs> it is the ultimate best friggin thing ever. I absolutely love it. Um, I hope that the people who are playing this, I hope they are enjoying as much as I am. Um, I recently got Steam Big Picture down in the living room of the house, and I, uh, I just got a 50-foot HDMI cord and hooked my computer up to it. This is what I play. I just pop open up uh, 2K14, pick a court, play some blacktop mode, get sick of that court, pick another court, play some half court, play some full court. Ah, just really good way to hold me over until next gen and the park. <laughs> so this is uh, my my 10 court or my 10 Rucker Park uh, pack, 10 court Rucker Park pack. Whatever you want to call it, there's 10 new Rucker Park courts available. I hope you guys enjoy them, and I will see you in the next video. Nice mean.